you like to add something here uh, and uh, in in events pertaining particularly to the luxury sector to the visual arts so i think uh, like i would agree with everybody else uh, and i feel that the you know the way the industry has taken picked up to the online events and webinars etc i think this can continue along with uh, because it gives everybody a larger audience so worldwide people are able to view exhibitions shows and you know know more about different cultures and Uh, from all over the world and of course we have to have uh, you know of course we have to have the physical this physical experience back because there's nothing like actually viewing an artwork in person and then being in a gallery or a museum that that never that is something that never can you know digital can never uh, take over yes. that so yeah. that is my concern and of course collaboration is so important uh, for different fields to come together to get more people involved So these are the two things I think we all can focus on, and as a foundation as well, we try to do a lot of events which are you know from different fields. Like we have performance artists who come in and do performances, etc. Then we also the basically we uh, launched the podcast just for this specific reason, and uh, Mr. Patnai mm-hmm. would be very happy to know that we've launched the first Indian podcast on Indian art history, and it's a series of about thirty. Uh, it has thirty series, and this is the first. it will be the first podcast in english and as well as we are launching it in hindi as well okay. so i i could not find anything like that so that is something that we've been quite busy with mm-hmm. and so we we plan to do lots of you know stuff online and for the larger right. audiences yeah okay thank um, you what do you think that the visual arts would require most now uh, if if you think it's been relatively easier for online virtual art tours uh once again it's 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 also about uh, revenue generation purchasing power for the artworks has become a huge issue here as well so it is imperative that we think about various ways in which we can help kick start our creative industry because of the pandemic the art sector was relegated to a non essential category mm-hmm. hence there was no protection offered to countless people who have worked tirelessly to build their career in the arts 